Oh wow, hello and welcome. Yes, thumbnail turned into an opening. <laughs> You guys, this recipe was requested to me on my sister channel, which is Views Club. Um, Cloud and I go on there and we chat a lot. You guys requested it on there and I felt that this was an appropriate place to share that recipe with the rest of our friends. You guys are more than welcome to join us. I'll put the link at the end. Um, but if you guys want to learn how to make this quick, delicious um, crab salad, deli style crab salad, um, keep watching because I have a few tips that are going to help you achieve that. And definitely this is something that I've been eating to keep my weight down. So if you guys want to see how I make this, um, come on let me just show you okay friends what I have here is I have two packs of imitation crab meat you can use fresh crab meat if you're bougie like that and if you want to get fancy and really bring the flavor you can do this with the regular crab um, for me I really love this recipe um, with imitation crab meat I'm one of those sickles that their favorite cold salad from the deli section <laughs> is this crab salad okay but I don't I think these days I really don't like to um, buy it at the store. I'd rather make it. And I learn how to perfect it to that original flavor, that old school stuff. You guys know I'm old, okay? So I have two packs. You can make this with one to three packs. It's a very friendly recipe. And the portions are just gonna be uh, to whatever you like, okay? All of the details are in the description area, so let's get started. So I have my two packs of crab meat. I have some finely chopped onions and celery. Steph, you said that onions spoil everything. Keep watching, you'll see how we're gonna prevent that from happening, okay? So before I start adding the rest of my ingredients, I'm gonna go ahead and mix these together. And I could have done this before um, I started everything, but for your sake, I know you guys like uh, me showing the individual ingredients. And especially since we are a 4K um, recipe video channel. I noticed that a lot of you guys are noticing that I do have 4K. I worked really hard. We all worked really hard to be here. So I'm grateful that you guys are enjoying this 4K uh, quality and amazing audio. So shout out to my sister for helping me out and getting all these things resolved because this is the exact content I've been wanting to give you guys for a few months. I just, I need a little help and thankfully with my sister, I have that help. I'm happy so. to help. So once we've added and blended all of our ingredients there, I'm gonna go ahead and add my mayonnaise. One of the things that I wanna tell you guys, if you don't wanna use that much mayonnaise, use the portion that you want and you can dilute it a little bit with uh, a few of the ingredients we're gonna be adding right now or you can add a little bit, like one fourth of water really helps you dilute this. A lot of people that don't understand when I say that, I mean it because I know a lot of you are watching your calories and that doesn't mean that you have to eat like horrible tasting food you can still eat delicious food just you know water down your mail you're gonna be okay now that I said that this is what's gonna help us uh, with our salad so it doesn't spoil this salad will last and I feel comfortable saying that if you watch yourself on the way you're scooping it out about four to five days it's a really really good salad so I'm pouring in my vinegar let me repeat that <laughs> the juice of half a lemon This one is optional, but definitely brings it, okay? For this salad, if you want that authentic flavor, definitely your sugar. What? Yes. This is imitation crab, okay? So we need to add a little bit of that sweetness, although it does have it. And one of the things that I learned that really puts this recipe together is, do you know what that is? Anybody? Celery seeds. Celery seeds. I only know because it's in my Bloody Mary. Really? You right now? Kids, don't listen to her. Don't listen to your Thea Cloud right now, kids. Your Thea likes Bloody Marys and not the scary story. You trying to scare the children, Cloud? Yes. No, 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 kids, no. Yeah. Girl. I am that Thea to give those stories. Well, you guys already know that I know how to make a mean drink and I'm really good with uh, making cocktails. Really? Yes. Why is that? Because I used to bartend for a period of time and probably outside of YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's my favorite job that I've ever had because it doesn't even feel like a job. Um, but my other favorite job has been uh, bartending and working at the YMCA. That I loved working at the YMCA, you guys. Anytime you get to work with food and, and drinks, I think you're happy. <laughs> yeah, that's my happy place. So you definitely want to keep your uh, salad creamy because this is when it gets in the refrigerator and then you have, this goes great with Ritz crackers. 
and that creaminess, the moisture that it brings, oh my goodness, it is amazing. Ritz or what else can you use? Ritz or Ritz, okay. Ritz or you can use uh, lettuce leaves for those of you watching yourselves, but I have been eating this and I'll have like maybe about five Ritz crackers because that puts me over my limits, but it's still enough for me to enjoy a good amount. Okay. And you can, after um, you serve yourself, you can get yourself some jalapeño, serranos, if you like that kind of spice, which lately I've just been gravitating towards a lot of chile. Mm. Two tapinas would be good on this, right? Yes. Let me clean up this spoon because I'm gonna use this one too. Get myself a little taste. And I'm gonna tell you guys a secret to getting it to taste better than your deli section. You know what, I forgot my salt. Hold on just a second. Okay. All right, we ready, sis? Ready. Okay, so now you wanna add your salt. Don't forget your salt, because I almost did. Do salt to taste. I'm gonna recommend that you guys start with um, about like one fourth of salt and then mix it and start adding one fourth at a time. And after you added a few of those and it's not salty enough, just sprinkle a little bit at a time. You don't wanna go over on it, okay? Okay. So let me go ahead and give this a good mix. And the mayo has a good amount of like sodium, doesn't it? Yeah, or is it the creaminess that I don't notice anything? <laughs> <laughs> you shared this on the Views Club channel, right? Yes, I shared this on our sister channel where you guys were asking me what I've been eating to drop so much weight, which I really am, you guys. Um, you guys can see it for yourselves. If you go back to my cucumber video, you guys can see my belly on there. It's definitely slimmed down a whole lot. And I've, I've done a lot of work in these past few months. And I'm not talking about working out, it's internal work. That's really important for weight loss. And you guys ask me, that looks so good, how do you make it? So, you know what, I'm a mom. I don't wanna leave you like wanting something. So, you know, that's why I'm making this for you. And it's crabby season, so let's taste this. Girl. Wow. That's good. Yeah. You're gonna notice when you taste right now, you're gonna taste the vinegar taste. Let me finish chewing. The vinegar and that's, comes through? Yeah, you're gonna taste the vinegar, you're gonna taste the creaminess of the mayo, and you're gonna taste a little subtle flavors of the rest of them. What you wanna do is you wanna put in your refrigerator overnight or at least 12 hours. The colder it is, the better. If you, you can eat it right now, but it's not gonna be that deli flavor that you're looking for. You have to remember, those deli ones have been there for like a few days. I'm not trying to scare you, but it's true. So um, keep this in your refrigerator for uh, 12 hours or overnight and then taste it. And whenever you're feeling hungry, just get yourself a little small bowl that holds maybe a cup and you're gonna feel really light and satiated. So it's definitely been one of my favorite things to eat right now that I am, I am dropping weight. I'm eating a little bit healthier and less noodles. And now, can you believe that? I'm eating less noodles, but I do have a noodle recipe that's a lot healthier coming for you guys um, next week, I believe, I think. Yeah. Yes, we got it for next week. So on that note, if you guys like these recipes that I'm giving you and you haven't subscribed, please take the time to subscribe. I appreciate it. Our channel is growing and I am like in awe with the amount of people that we do have here on the channel. So thank you for joining me. If you haven't, uh, click that subscribe button and I do upload every day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Okay, friends, I'm just going to transfer it over to my container and this container I mean, when my sister um, joins me, like we have plenty to eat. Me and Bebe and my sister are the ones that love this and my mom. My other family members, not so much. But if you guys want more of these deli style recipes, just let me, ask me in the comments. I'm gonna give you guys what you want. And it's funny because my sister and I always wanted deli things, but you know our pobrecita stories, okay? We didn't have much growing up. So my mom had to invent her own way of making us well, it's not her own way. That's how you make deli meat. So if you guys want me to show you how to make deli meat and that way you make it for the week and you're set and you're feeding your kids well, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, our, I got our, you. our mom knew every single mom at our school, no joke, and she would trade recipes and do things for us. So shout out to our mother. Uh, uh, yeah. My mom's very social, you guys. She's very different than I am. She is literally Mariah Carey. I get it from my mama. <laughs> you do get it from our mama. All right, guys. I love hanging out with you. That's just, this is a container that I usually put this away and it's a large one. Um, I'll see if Cloud can uh, link it. It's a Rubbermaid and I bought a bunch of these and so far I like these better than the other Tupperwares that I purchased that are pretty pricey because this one I've had for a few years and the sets are great. So um, if you guys don't know, we do have the Amazon link that's going to send you to um, 
It's gonna send you to all the products that I use from Amazon or things that I do have that you guys can have access to as well. What is that, a storefront cloud? Uh, yeah, it's an Amazon storefront and I'm gonna add um, all the products there that you use and we order from Amazon. Yeah, I'm really thankful for Amazon for um, having that available for me because I know a lot of you guys ask me and as I said before, some people are like, oh, she's just trying to make money. I'm not trying to make money out of you guys. I'm grateful for anything that you guys contribute towards our channel and I think that this is also uh, easy and accessible for you guys at home that like to do a lot of home cooking and like things to flow well because you guys see my products are all like worn out because I do use them, okay? That's the kind of kitchen I have. So. I'm gonna go ahead and refrigerate this. See you guys tomorrow.